Did you just like eat a lot or is there really a baby inside of you? <laughs> Everyone is laughing at me. I feel like I want to die. <sighs> Mr. Turner, call 911. The summer of my sophomore year was the best summer of my entire life. It felt like, I guess, like a dream. I had my amazing friends. I was becoming more confident with my body. I was learning how to accept myself. I was grown up now. And the boys were finally starting to notice. I'd never really been that popular before. It felt so nice to be seen. If you didn't know me, you might assume I wanted this. You might assume I was stupid, irresponsible. That I just let this happen to me. Well, let me tell you, I didn't want this. I didn't want any of it. But here I am. I'm scared and I don't know what to do. Regardless of what you hear, I had dreams of my own, you know. I promise you, I'm not stupid, and I'm not a whore. You know what people say, small decisions can affect the rest of our lives. Okay, we're about to start. Now, this is going to feel a little bit cold, but it's going to help with the instruments, okay? On three. One, two, and... Ah, oh, okay, Talk to good. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. Okay. Looks good. Um... This one you're gonna feel a little bit of pressure, but that's normal, okay? I can't, doctor, please stop. Casey, stop, please, Casey, I, I can't. I do this every day, everything's normal. I nurse. can't, please. Please calm down. No, I can't, I can't do no. this. I'm sorry. What the hell did I just do? Am I really gonna keep this kid? It started. Hi, little one. I hope we get along well. Bye. Bye. If you could have one of the football players. Who would it be? You're joking, right? Mm -mm. Danny. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to get with him? Of course, he's so hot. I heard he got accepted to Ohio State, which means he'll be playing for them. It's insane. Wow. Well, I just hope he will notice me before he leaves. I can't lose such an opportunity, you know? <laughs> Let's go. 
so this should be easy, right? All I have to do is hide this from everyone I've ever known. Hey, what did I tell you? I told you I'm sick. I need to wear this. Oh, hey. Cass, are we still doing this tonight? I don't think I'll be able to make it to the party. Are you joking? Everyone's gonna be there. Danny, too. Mm -hmm. So, but I'll promise I'm gonna go to the next one. I would just, <clears throat> I think I'm getting the flu or, <sighs> yesterday I was dying, so. Okay, well stay away from me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you everything about it, the boys. Ladies. Hi, Miss Turner. Miss Beachwood. Do you know what that sound was? The bell? Ding, 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 you win a prize, Miss Beachwood. That was the bell. And do you know what the bell means? Get to class. That's right, Miss Beachwood. You're one smart cookie. Get to class now. Miss Sullivan, just a moment. Miss Sullivan, you do know why we have a dress code here at Willington? I do. And you do know why it's important that all of the students uphold it? I do, and I'm sorry, Miss Turner, but I I got a permission because I haven't been feeling well. You must be feeling very ill indeed. I didn't realize Wellington Academy would extend such a courtesy. I, I guess they did it for me. Go on, get to class. You can tell them you were having a meeting with me. Thank you. Oh, Miss Sullivan, one last thing. I was quite impressed with your most recent essay. I had some notes, of course, but I think that if you keep up the hard work, you're going to have a very bright future ahead of you. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Turner. It means a lot to me right now. Sure. Get to class, Casey. Thank you. At least I have my grades. And he was a writer from the South. Now on page nine, Daniel Shave was a poor farmer from Massachusetts. And Miss Sullivan? Miss Sullivan. Focus class, back to page nine. Would you like to continue reading for us since it's so funny? Hey, Casey. What's up? Hi, Mark. I'm good. How are you? All good. You going to... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so it begins. The end of my secret. The end of my normal. The end of my life. Here we go. Morning, sunshine. Come take a seat and make some eggs and some breakfast.
I really wish this could have been different. I... I, I don't think I'm okay. I don't think I'm okay. I just want to be a kid again. Okay, everyone, settle down, have a seat. I said focus and have a seat. Settle down and let's focus. Today's lesson is going to be on... Miss Sullivan, so glad you could join... <laughs> That's enough. I said that is enough. Miss Sullivan, take your seat. You are late. Hey, Molly. Hey, guys. Are you okay? I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's okay. I know it's a lot. It's a lot. Hey, okay, see? Look, I don't mean to be rude, but we're kind of making bets over there, so did you just like eat a lot or is there really a baby inside of you? <laughs> Yo, come on. Ain't no way she's actually pregnant, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Stop it. Dude, that's disgusting. <laughs> that girl over there has feelings just as much as you. Well, I must admit that I was quite impressed with this most recent pop quiz. It is clear that most of you actually did study the notes, although that can't be said for everyone. Am I beginning to slip? Am I going to lose this all for this baby? Is this what motherhood means? Do you have to sacrifice it all? That's him. My everything. My nothing. The father of this child. Look at him. Not a care in the world. So handsome and so evil. I don't know if I want to kill him or get down on one knee and ask him to marry me. Hey, Casey. Uh, so sorry to keep you waiting. I, uh, I heard you've been having a hard time lately. Now, I understand that what you're going through is probably the hardest thing that, that any 16-year-old can do. You know, what I mean to say, though, is I have no idea what you're feeling. I, I never will. But I just want you to know that I'm here to help you. And whatever it is you're feeling, it's okay. Casey, it's normal. Normal? <laughs> oh, Mr. Bennett. None. 
all of this is normal. I feel like I want to die. Everyone is laughing at me. I'm so scared. It's okay. I'm so scared. It's okay. I'm here for you, Heather. I'm here for you. Danny. Hi. It's me. Hi. Yeah. Remember me? The girl you told you loved? The girl you told you want to spend the rest of your life with? Well, here I am. Casey, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you actually going to pretend it's not your baby? It's not my baby. You probably slept with some other guy. We know how you are. Danny, I know your friends are here, and you think you need to act some certain way, but this is so evil. You're evil. I called you every day. You never picked up. You never cared. You said you loved me. Casey, Casey. Stop lying. Every day, I felt more worthless. Come in. Just close the door, please. Take a seat. <clears throat> you know what a tenure is, Mr. Bennett? Uh, yes, sir. I, I know what tenure is. Well, I hope you do. You see, Miss Turner has tenure. You, on the other hand, have no tenure. I understand, sir. You understand the importance of tenure? You have none. She has it all. In fact, 29 long years of tender. 29 long years of her in that teacher's lounge just talking. Just talking all the time. But we got through it. And she's still here. Sir, all I know is a girl in my office today come in and say, Miss Turner's got it out for her. And uh, she says it's because of her pregnancy. That's ridiculous. No, hey, hey, listen to me. Excuse me, Mr. Bennett. Who do you think you're talking to? She said Miss Turner failed her because she wanted to keep the baby. Again, ridiculous. You're, you're not listening to me. She said she might hurt herself. Now, can you please have a talk with Miss Turner? That's all I'm asking. Yeah. I think I can do that, Mr. Bennett. You have a good day now. Which is why iambic pentameter is so important. As I was saying, 
I hope you will all learn to study the notes properly because without discipline, how will you succeed? I've never understood how people can be so cruel to one another. It's gonna be okay. Thank you. Miss Turner, call 911! What are you doing? Call get a nurse! Let me see. Miss Turner, help! Okay, okay, okay. You go sit down. I'm, I'm, I'm calling. Yes, there's an emergency. Willington Academy. Come quick, please. Harder next time, please. Don't forget to study for the quiz tomorrow. Casey, is there something I can help you with? Ms. Turner, is there any reason that you don't like me? I like all of my students the same, Casey. You all start with 100%, and it's up to you to keep that. I think I can see you, Ms. Turner. Oh, is that right? And what is it you think you see, Casey? I can see an angry woman. Someone who didn't get what she wanted in life. Someone who was willing to take that out on a 16 year old girl. The test this Friday will determine if you pass my class. Willington has very strict requirements about GPA. I have four students out in the past and you are not immune to that. I suggest you go home and you study hard. This woman's crazy. 
He still let her do this to me. Casey, don't worry about her. We're gonna figure this out together. Casey, don't take this the wrong way, but with everything you've got going for you, why did you decide to keep the baby? I, I might sound crazy, but I think he told me. He told me. He said, please don't. Um, so I kept it. Please don't, Mom. So I kept it. Grades needed to be maintained at a 3.3 .3 average. You have fallen well below that, Casey. Now, I'm not proud to do this to a young girl, especially one in your condition, but I have to eject you from Willington. Now, there are plenty of schools I can recommend. I'll even call around and help you sign up. This is not the end of your education. I want you to know that. You and that kid will be perfectly fine in the public school system. Honey, there's somebody here to see you. Cool. Get out. I'm sorry. No, you're not. You left me all alone. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't know what to do. I panicked. I was so scared. No. Anything you need, honey? No, I think I'm okay. But thanks for checking in. I love you, honey. I'm so proud of you. I love you too, Mom. Casey, honey, there's somebody on the phone for you. Uh, someone named Mr. Bennett? Oh. Something? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna call him back. No worries. I just wanted to personally apologize to you, Casey. Seems Miss Turner, she had her own set of rules at this school. Tenure, no tenure. We believe in individual rights here at Willington. I want to let you know you're welcome back to resume your studies at any time. Okay. Not everything works out as you imagine. Sometimes, life leads you to places you never thought existed. Hi guys! Did you like the story? Do you know an even better story to tell? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Maybe we'll use your idea in our future video. 
If you want to keep up with our releases, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish a new, original story every week. See you soon!